Okay, so this week's Raw is part one of the Superstar Shakeup. So, I'll try to go through them pretty quickly. So we begin with the first picks. John Cena and Nikki Bella. Tremendous. They got to reignite their love and their passion in the ring with John gently stroking Nikki's hair. And then... Number three comes down. Number three. Dean Ambrose, who congratulates John Cena and Nikki for their victory over Miz and Maurice. And then it turns out it actually was Miz and Maurice. They had the whole crowd fooled and Ambrose. Which, of course, leads to Miz being like, what, what do you call this? So Miz has a match with Sami Zayn. Good match. They've had a handful of matches last year. This is the problem with the shakeup. When it happened in like July, they're not the freshest of matchups. Because we also get to see Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. Yeah, they feuded over the IC title in like January of last year, like end of the end of end of uh, 2015, start of 2016 is when they feuded for the IC title. But, solid match. Ambrose getting the victory, Jared coming down, laying out Kevin Owens. Good. It's decent trades. Finn Balor takes on Jinder Mahal in a match that is all about Finn Balor killing Jinder Mahal. And then, the newest person appears in the Titan Tron. My boy Bray Wyatt. It's got a side set. And Finn Balor. Yes, please. Yes, please, and thank you. With Finn summoning the demon to win big matches, the, the demon aspect with the supernatural style of Bray Wyatt, it's... Yes. Yes, of course, yes. Why not yes? Has to be yes. The Revival took on the two remaining members of the New Day, but Big E brought... A blow up doll with a wig instead of scoping. They hit a super shatter machine. Effectively, Xavier came off the top rope, got caught, and ate a shatter machine. It was nice. Top guys in New Day works well. I did like the fact he came up with the I broke Kofi's ankle. Super old school Southern heel. Even the 2007 to 2017 rest in peace for the ice cycle. Oh. It's like a fine anything. It's great. It's, that is old school southern wrestling. Solid match. The rest of the division had a match too. With the Hardys teaming with Shea Saro to take on the club and the shining stars. I just need to tell you who won this match. It's academic. But SmackDown did get a fresh hot tag team, Slater and Rhino. Charlotte got destroyed by Nia Jax, which of course then led to later on that night when Emma's like, I'm going to go. Come on, Dana, come with me. No, I'm not going with you. I am my own person now. This division has grown. I might not be the best, but I am going to stand on my own two feet. And I was like, serviceable, I, I guess. Sasha Banks called out Bailey because she wants her shot at the title. And then this bus, bus came down to the delight of the crowd and was like, this is dumb. I should get a shot at this. And who are you? Two times SmackDown Women's Champ. Recognize. And then Mickey James came down. And I was like, oh. They've gutted that division. And other people who didn't actually do anything. Kalisto and Apollo Crews. But they got Kurt Hawkins too. Who was like, they got Kurt Hawkins. And the crowd's like, who in the world is Kurt Hawkins? Better face the facts. The fact is, I have no idea who you are or why I should care. 
I know you're an edgehead. I know your team was Zack Ryder. And you have a cool walking stick. He has a committee, show came down and punched him. Neville's playing mind games with TJP. TJP was taking an A-double. A lot of initials. Nice, solid match. I mean, 205 not picking up Kalisto, that's going to be great for them. Kalisto in the cruise vision makes sense. Makes beautiful sense. Of course, Neville got came down the ring, distracted Ares. Ares got rolled up by TJP. And Ares is like, you got me fine. Come on in, Neville. Come on, come get some of this. TJP was like, whoa! I'm no one's second fiddle. Pulled the ring, technation kick. You know what? Good. He needs some edge. Maybe I'll stop having Nintendo shirts and be like a Sega Genesis shirt. You know? Be like, I'm 16 bit TJP now. And I was like, alright. So you're doing well. So now on to the absolute greatest moment in overbooked, overinflatedness. Roman Reigns had a sit with Michael Cole. And he was like, you were trying to, you know, that was bittersweet. I didn't want to do it. I respected the guy. And then, and then Strowman shows up. And Strowman beats the bejesus out of him. Throwing him against the wall. Throwing him into stuff. Running power slam onto, like, you know, a piece of crate. Throws him on the ground. Slams another piece of crate into him. And then just beats him down some more. They strap him to the gurney. And they're wheeling him down, which is near a shipping dock. Strowman hucks the gurney off the shipping dock. Of course, they show the gurney landing like here, and then they cut back, and Roman's like here. They then put Roman in, and as I should mention, the crowd is ballistic with thank you, Strowman chants. They wheel Roman into an ambulance. You're, I'm not done with you yet. And Strowman is beating up Roman who's in like the neck brace, the body board, strapped to a gurney, he's beat the daylights out of him. And I'm like, oh, that's fantastic. He doesn't stop there. He then flips over the gimmick ambulance. I was like, this is, this is brilliant. The only thing this is missing now is him either shooting it, setting it on fire, or hitting it with like a semi. I mean, it was, and the crowd is just going, Thank you, Strowman! So, like, half of the show is them doing recaps of the entire beatdown. And it was, oh, God, it was so good. Because I was like, we're going, nice. Oh, he's not done yet. Oh, he's not done! He... He's flip that in, guess, isn't it? He's going to flip that. He's flip that in, man. Oh, what's he going to do now? They put Strowman and Roman in the smaller ambulance. I'm like, dude, he just flipped your giant one. You're probably in the back of a van now? Come on. Where's Strowman with the chainsaw, like, cutting the thing in half, like, lighting it on fire? And I was like, oh. I can tell the back was just like, that's what make him love him. That's what make him love Roman Reigns. Thank you, Strowman. This is wrong. My earpiece. It's saying Strowman. Sure, it's not, sure it's not Roman? No, that 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 that, that ain't Strowman. Sure, it's not Strowman. You make him look strong, Strowman. No, no, they're they're chanting Strowman. They're fired. No, no, it, it it's definitely Strowman. I, I think there's a there's an acoustic issue. So they're chanting, "Thank you, Strowman." Yeah, it's Strowman. Totally, it's not Strowman. It's Boo Boo Burns. So. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this, but SmackDown needs to pick up some heavy hitters, or else Raw is going to be super, SmackDown is going to have to really, really build stars from the ground floor. 